Right, Sound of the Lake District, we are Lake and Radio, and Visit England's Tourism Superstar nominee, Lee D. John's on the phone. Hello, Lee. Hello, how are you, John? I am very well. Good to speak to you. It's a long time, isn't it? Yeah, a long time since our early days of radio. But Indeed. But thanks for getting in touch, and, uh, it's, uh, well, it's great that you're doing so well up there. Oh, and you as well, by the sounds of it. Uh, this award was launched six years ago to celebrate the unsung heroes within the tourism industry, and uh, you must be thrilled to bits representing the northwest of England, really, you. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought that it was it was a good thing being chosen as the Lancashire superstar, and I thought that was that over with, and it was a great achievement. Mm. And then, of course, I got a phone call saying that I've been shortlisted by Visit England yeah. to be down to the final ten, and the only one, like you say, for the mm. northwest of England. So it's important that we uh, get it back up north, as they say. Right. Well, you're up against a town crier from Falmouth, oh, the sorry. owner of a fish bar in Norwich. That's annoying me, that John. <laughs> if I can just say that, <laughs> we've just done a third, second, and first uh, where we are right now right. in the voting. Yeah. Yeah. That guy is. I'm not going to slag him off because that's not what, <laughs> what it's about. I'm not Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, but um, you know mm. he's, he's coming in at first at the moment. But um, oh yeah, I'm rallying round. Yeah. Now the important thing is, Lee, how do we vote? How do we get you Blackpool well, and you know the northwest on the map? For all you lovely people up there in the Lakeland and mm. beyond, um, if you go onto Viva Blackpool's website, that's V I V A Blackpool, all one word. Mm. Dot com and uh, there's a, a link on there that you can click on and just follow the instructions and you can go on and vote for Lady Johns and bring it back to the North West. Indeed. Now, I've noticed and I've uh, been laughing at all your photos. You've been all over the place, you know, yeah. getting attention on the sh- even to your hometown of Barrow, yeah? Yeah, well, Barrow used to be in Lancashire mm. in the old days. I mean, I wasn't born then because I'm, I'm, I'm only about 23. Oh, that's all. As, as you are, probably. You yeah, a similar age. Then, I think yeah. uh, we, we had the same cake at one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I thought it would only be right to kind of go up there and see all my family and friends mm. and try and drum up a bit of support, which you did, actually. I got of course. Of their shares on the social media platform. And down at Lancaster? University? Yeah, well, I'd kind of sat out there. They didn't really let me in. I, <laughs> I, <look>, I, <laughs> I don't really look like a student. No. Um, but, yeah, they kind of, like, ushered me in and ushered me out, really. I kind yeah. of had a big, burly security guard walking around with me, but... Yeah. Right, let's just break up the interview slightly and play a tune. I remember our Sunday mornings at Radio Wave. Radio Wave, yeah. yeah with Nori and all that. And um, what song sums up Blackpool still, in your eyes? Oh, put Viva Las Vegas on. Absolutely. Hey! Viva Las Vegas. Genius, that, Haywood. Sound the Lake District, Lake and Radio, and we're chatting to the team at Viva and Visit England Tourism Superstar nominee Lee D. Johns. Blackpool is still on the map for tourism. It does well. Like the Lake District up here, it's got its qualities. Uh, we've got the scenery, uh, Blackpool's got its location and the entertainment, no end, uh, is the Vegas of the North. You know, ticking all the boxes really, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, we've, we're kind of like working hard, to, and as are a lot of businesses, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Within the tourism environment, they're all working hard to try and get get Blackpool back and, and happening and attracting more people. It's very important, you know, that people understand that we're kind of cleaning it up and, yeah. and bringing more, putting more money into the town to make it, you know, nicer and, and much more appealing to to outside the town. Like Viva, many many people are doing that in the town now, which is great. Good to see. Do you get any time out? Do you ever get time off yourself and go out and enjoy Blackpool? Or not? Well, not not so much Blackpool. It, irony is, my mm. family come up from from the Lake District. And obviously yeah. tomorrow. So I'm kind of up there when, when I do get a little bit of time off. If I'm not on holiday, I kind of go up there for a day. Brilliant. And chill out around the Lake District. But um, just I just love the vibe that Blackpool brings. Uh, mm. and, and I think Blackpool's heading towards not being as seasonal anymore. I think it's going to be more of a 12 month um, yeah. place, you know, with, with, with the way the, the children's half term falls in February, etc. It's kind of on a changing thing. So, you know, tourism itself is a 12 month thing. And the exciting thing is, I see on social media, and that's very important these days, as you know. Uh, for getting your messages across about Viva. The stars you have, the star turns you have doing shows there is incredible. Yeah, we're, we're starting to attract, um, well, everybody mm. within the entertainment genre, really. Yeah. Like Viva's sort of like striving, not just for the in-house shows, uh, which is my show, yeah. and uh, some visiting shows like the Jerseys or Joe Longthorne, shows that are sort of like set in during the week we're attracting quite a lot of visiting shows and that's attracting names you know like sam bailey yeah um you know uh, we've had, uh, had denise pearson from five star. five star hazel dean gareth gates is coming books fierce come and mm. then of course go down the comedy line we've got um you know like joe squally 
uh, Billy Pierce, the Cameron and Ball show, etc., etc. I could go on. Uh, but you know, we, we, we're just attracting that kind of entertainment, and I mm. think people are, are, are coming to us because it, it recognises a great night out. Yeah, exactly right, and handy as well. You know, you got to remember it's only like three quarters of an hour down the motorway from the Lake District. Yeah. And I mean, I was, I've always said that when I'm when I first moved to Blackpool, I couldn't believe because I was commuting from London to Barrow to yeah. Blackpool mm. how much it is in the middle. I know uh. you kind of deviate off, but it is in the middle of most places. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, and like I say, go to the um, just repeat the website address for us. Yeah, thanks, John. Thanks for having us. And, yeah. uh, we hope to see you again soon. A great radio show you've got there. Thanks uh, very much. It's um, Viva Blackpool. Yep. Uh, dot com and if you go on that website you can have a little look around everything but you'll see a little uh, section on that where you can click on and it'll take you to the voting process but I'll be more than more than grateful to get it back to the North West Oh too right and you'll find out a, about a month from today yeah, isn't about, it? About, about, I think it's about four weeks from now mm. it closes around the 29th of March but um, you know you've got to, got to get that line haven't you of not getting on people's nerves but at the same <laughs> yeah. time continuing to, to, to get out there and get some votes Big time Well well done to you and thank yeah, you very thank much you. for your chat Thanks, John. You take care. Bye now. Bye, everyone.